Hello everybody and welcome to the Brick Show. I'm Aiden and today we're going to be taking a look at these little Lego, they're actually not Lego, they're called Petite Block. They're Japanese style Lego and a much smaller scale. We're going to be taking a look at these two as well as the rest of them. There are three other trains that we will be taking a look at, all very similar and comparing them. Um, just seeing what you can get for this low, low price of a dollar fifty per pack. You heard me right, a dollar fifty per pack. Granted, they're not going to be as big, but they're going to be about both combined will be about as big as this Mando speeder. And that Mando speeder was approximately ten dollars. Yeah. So, you might get a little bit better bang for your buck, but is it nicer than LEGO quality overall? And let's get right into it, and let's build these guys up. The unbagging experience is pretty simple. There's a little sticker here. That is just, I don't know if the camera can see that. There's like a little white sticker there. Blends in. Rip that open. And pull this out. And then there is one bag of pieces, and then the instructions on the inside. We'll take a look at all this stuff later. The bag is uh, in Japanese as well as English and I think Spanish too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to build both of these up and we'll take a look at them. And here it is after it's all built. So it takes me about seven minutes per each section, so probably about 15 minutes to build this whole thing, which is pretty good, considering the pieces are very tiny. And one thing that I love about these kits is they give you these extra pieces. That is a lot of extra pieces. More than Lego will give you. They give you pretty much one of every piece that was included. But that's not all. That was only from one set. From the smaller set, which is the cargo passenger. And that is all the extra pieces. So they give you a lot of extra pieces. Because in the instructions... Oh wait, wrong way. There's definitely a couple different ways to go so on the smaller passenger there's two final ways I chose the one with more details but you can also go just with a flat top which also looks good now on this one there's a couple different ways so you can change this front bumper so it's, it has a front uh, hinge on it and you can also do something a little bit different on the back as well oh wait no you can there actually really isn't much, but it involves more p different pieces, so that's why these sets come with a lot of extra pieces. The design is great. It doesn't change much for all of them. And let's bring in the rest of the fleet. So this is the red and white one. We have a yellow and blue one. Let's straighten that out. We have a pink, blue, and white one, which I think is my personal favorite just because of the blue. And then a white and blue one. These, these two, no wait, no, not. These two are more similar in design um, than the other ones. These two are more similar in design than the other ones. But they all differ very, as you can see on the top, the details on the top are all different, which makes for a very interesting um, aesthetic. I really love these all side by side, all four of them. There's only four of them. This was eight kits together. This cost me at a dollar fifty a piece. That cost me about ten dollars, a little bit less. Um, this is what I got for $10 out of LEGO. You can see the contrast. Yeah, as I said, it's about the same length, a little bit shorter. 
which even comes to my point that non-genuine Lego is a lot cheaper. But these sets are a lot smaller, oops, a lot smaller of course, and they're definitely not the greatest quality, but they do work out pretty good. To each individual one, show you the angles. As I said, the blue and white one is probably my favorite. If I could change the pink out with white, I probably would. And then the white and blue one. Definitely the cleanest look is the white and blue one, but my personal favorite is this one, just because that color is amazing. That's all for today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share below. Share with a friend. Uh, if you think Genuine Lego is worth it, comment down below, and we'll see you next time on The Brick Show. Bye for now.